What's going on everybody? Lil Chris here and in today's video I'll be reviewing another pool cue for you. But not just any ordinary pool cue, this one will specifically be a jump cue. And what I have for you today is the J Flowers JF JP2 otherwise known as their power jump cue. So I'll be doing nothing but a bunch of jump shots in this review, but before I do, let's take a closer look at the cue and stick around to the end because I've got a surprise. Now, as we take a closer look at this cue, I'll also be verifying its specs against the certificate of authenticity. And I've been working on my video editing skills so I can try to present this in a different way. So I hope y'all enjoy it. Now, according to the certificate of authenticity, the butt of the cue is supposed to be 18 inches in length and weighs 7.6 ounces. But since this is a three piece cue, I wanna break down each piece individually starting with the absolute butt of the cue. Here you can see it's wrapped in a black and yellow sports wrap with the J Flowers logo on it. And it's made from embossed leather, which is supposed to be more durable. The total length of this piece is seven inches and it weighs 3.5 ounces. Next up, we have the forearm, which is made of ash wood and then stained black. And I did forget to mention that the third piece is made from the same ashwood material. It just has the sports wrap wrapped around it. But here on the forearm, you can see that we have the Power Jump logo, and it's got this nice shiny looking heartbeat monitor line to underline it. The joint pin measures out to be 388, and then the length of the forearm piece, not including the joint pin, does measure out to be 11 inches, and then it weighs 4.1 ounces. When combined with the third piece, that does give us the total length of 18 inches with a combined weight of 7.6 ounces. And finally, we have the carbon fiber shaft. Now this shaft really isn't all that different from the one that comes with the J Flowers JF Force Brake Cue in that it has a standard length of 29 inches it weighs 4.4 ounces. It comes with a phenolic tip, which also sits on top of a black ferrule that is made out of Cox resin. The only thing that really separates this shaft from the one that comes with the JF Force Brake Cue is that the diameter size of this shaft is 13.8 millimeters. And then when you have all three pieces put together, you have a total length of 47 inches with a weight of 12 ounces. But when you remove the third piece, then you have a length of 40 inches with a weight of 8.5 ounces. So enough about the specs of the cue. Let's get to the part that really matters. And that's how well does this cue jump? So for my first jump shot, I'm going to attempt to jump over the eight ball, pocket the one into the side pocket. Now, if you're not familiar with how to perform a jump shot, then I suggest you check out my old jump shot video that I'll link right over here. And then one little extra tip that I can give you is that when you're performing a jump shot, just stroke like you would a normal shot, meaning that only your elbow should be moving. Don't attempt to throw your shoulder or your hip or anything you think you got to do to add enough power in order to get the cue ball off the table. Just let the natural speed of your stroke and the cue do the work for you. I'll say that works pretty good. Now for my second jump shot, I'm pretty much going to do the same thing. The only difference is, is that the eight ball is much closer to the cue ball. So now I'm more concerned about getting height on my jump rather than length. So in order to do that, I'm going to take off the third piece so the cue is a little bit lighter. Everything else should be able to remain the same.
Too easy. For my next shot, I want to try something a little more difficult. So for this setup in a game of nine ball, I have to be able to jump over the nine ball, pocket the seven into the corner pocket, and then try to draw the cue ball back enough to have decent position for the eight ball here in this corner. So while I'm elevating my cue on this cue ball, I will also be hitting the cue ball below center so I can impart some backspin on the cue ball in order to get the cue ball to draw off of the seven after it jumps over the nine. Well, I'd say that's decent position enough, and this is not as easy as it looks as it took me multiple tries to finally be able to hit this shot. And for my final shot, I want to try something a little fancy. So I've set up another scenario for a game of nine ball, and I want to be able to make the four nine combination. But the five ball and the seven ball are in my way to where I can't make a direct combo, and I've got them spaced far enough apart to where I don't think I can accurately jump over both of them, let alone to be able to keep my cue ball on the table. Now, I'm not going to be trying Jesus Atencio's double jump shot where I can jump over the five ball and then have the cue ball bounce off the table to jump over the seven and make the combo. Instead, I'm just going to jump over the five ball on the left side of the seven ball. And we can see that if I continue to slide on down, I'll end up hitting just the short rail and still miss the combo. So I'm going to be putting right spin on the cue ball. And with an elevated cue and the right spin on the cue ball, I'm expecting the cue ball to curve around the seven and head towards the four nine combo once it lands on the table after jumping over the five. This is pretty much a jump masse shot. And that's actually a lot easier to do than the last shot. So there you have it, everybody. Now, if I were to ask you, based on what you saw I was able to do with the J Flowers Power Jump Cue, I was able to do a standard jump shot, a high jump shot, a drawing jump shot, and even a jump masse. Wouldn't you say that this cue might be worth giving a try? Especially if I told you that its retail price is only $320 which beats most of its competitors by almost half? I mean, I would at least think so. So if you think that you might be in the market for a carbon fiber jump cue and you don't want to spend too much money on one, then this cue might be worth giving a shot. Now, if for any reason you still might not be able to afford even a jump cue like this one, but you're one of my subscribers, you don't have to worry because I'll be giving this jump cue away to one of you. But that's not the surprise that I mentioned earlier. The surprise is, not only am I giving one power jump cue away, I'm giving two power jump cues away. So that'll be two lucky winners in one giveaway. Now, if you've never seen or have been part of my previous giveaways, all you have to do to be an eligible winner is give this video a thumbs up. And then leave a comment in the comment section below because I'm going to randomly select two comments to be the winners of these cues. But like I said, you have to be one of my subscribers, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. Not only do you need to be one of my subscribers, but you also have to make sure that your subscription list is public. Because after some time, after I select the two winners, I have to verify that you're one of my subscribers by going to your channel and seeing if I'm in your subscription list. So let the games begin, and if you can do me a favor and please help share this video around so we can see how many people might want to own their very own carbon fiber jump cue. So as a reminder, give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and then be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and make sure that your subscription list is public. Take care, everybody.